Hi children, welcome to our very first Food Day Friday where I'm going to attempt to show you how to make a Rocky Road fridge cake. No cooking, so it's completely safe. The only thing you will have to do is melt some chocolate. So let me show you what you'll need. You will need some very cheap chocolate. This is 30 pence from the supermarket. This is white chocolate, but you can use milk chocolate if you want. So you need two bars, 200 grams of chocolate. You need some marshmallows, a little bit of golden syrup, some apricots. I'm, you don't have to put apricots in, but I like apricots, so I'm going to put those in. And I'm also going to put in some raisins, because I like raisins, but I know Simone doesn't like raisins, so she wouldn't have them in her cake. So you basically can put anything you like in here, but you do need chocolate, you do need marshmallows, and the thing that gives it a little bit of crunch, 200 grams of biscuits. You can use any biscuits, digestives, which cheese, I've used these little biscotti biscuits because they've got a little bit of a nice crunch. So the first thing you need to do, take your chocolate, open it up. Can you see down there, look? There we go. Break it all up, put it in a microwavable bowl. I'm going to melt my chocolate in the microwave because it's quick, but you can do it on the oven, on the cooker top, if your mums will watch you, or you can do it with boiling water. Or you can do it just with boiling water in a saucepan and you put this over the top of the saucepan and stir it but it takes a long time so i'm just going to pop this in the microwave now for two minutes and i'll show you what we do while that's cooking while that's melting in the microwave we're going to put all of the biscuits in a bag and then we're going to have a really good time smashing them up. I'm going to use a big spoon, but you can use a rolling pin if you want to. Just smash up all of your biscuits into nice crumbs. You can leave some big bits if you want to. That'll make it nice and crunchy. There we go, give it a big, big smash up. There's a little bit more, just some big lumps in there. There we go, oops. Do that one, and there we go. There's a few big bits that I'm just going to crunch up there. There's our crunched up biscuit. So we'll leave them there, and I'm going to go and just quickly check on the chocolate. It's nearly done. I think about another few minutes, a uh, few seconds, not minutes. I only need two minutes the whole bars because if the chocolate burns then it won't mix up very well so you don't want to do that do you i'll go and have another check here we go now we have to be quick because we don't want this to go hard again so we're going to tip in our biscuits there we go and mix all those in. Can you see? Move that down a bit. Mix in the biscuits and tip in the marshmallows. Oops, I've got them on the floor, but never mind. Try to be quick because I don't want the chocolate to go hard. And then I'm going to put a handful of apricots. And a small handful of raisins. Another little mix. I'm going to give it a big blob. Can you see it? Of golden syrup. Another little mix. Oops. Not being very careful here, am I? There we go. And then. You need to get a dish and use a little bit of butter, just use your fingers like that and just put it around the bottom of your dish. That's not for the cake to go on because I'm going to put the cake on this grease pre paper. So it just helps to keep the paper in place. Put a little bit on there. 
and then you're going to put your cake into the dish. And squash it. I think my dish might be a little bit big actually for this, but we'll see. Squash it all into the corners. And then we're going to put this in the fridge to set for about an hour. So I'll leave you now and we'll come back in one hour and see what it looks like. Hello again children, an hour has passed and our fridge cake has set. I'm going to tip that down there, turn it right onto the plate, just turn it back over and I'm going to try and cut it, can you see? I'm going to cut it into some little squares and then we'll put a little bit of icing sugar on. Now my fridge cake is quite thin because I think I probably used a container that was a little bit too big. So I'm going to make them into probably quite big squares because it's not very thick. So we'll do it like that. And the middle. You need that nice crunch. I think these pieces at the end might be a little bit big. I'll cut those in half again. And then if you want to, just to finish off, a little bit of icing sugar, just over the top to make it look a bit pretty. And there we have our white chocolate fridge cake. Now, remember when you're making this, as long as you've got melted chocolate and probably the biscuits to make it crunchy, you can put anything in here. You could put popcorn in here. We put the marshmallows in. You could put any dried fruit in. You could put nuts in if nobody's got a nut allergy. And make this cake into whatever you want it to be. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. That's nice. So, enjoy. And if you make them, please let me know. Send me a photograph or a video. And I'll put them on our website and our Facebook page. Next week, we're going to have a go at making pizzas, but we're going to use muffins as the base. So it'd be really easy. We can microwave them. We won't need to use a cooker at all. So see you next week. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.